Okay guys, uh, before we get started here, do us a favor, if you haven't, please hit subscribe. Also hit the bell icon if you want to be notified anytime we upload anything that's uh, saddle hunting related. And uh, hopefully you like this video. Um, this video is basically in response to a question we got. And uh, we've, rather than just answering the question, I think a picture's worth a thousand words. And it's about when you're selecting trees and um, trees that have a lean, things to look for, things that we tend to try to avoid, and things to look for when you're, when you're climbing the tree. And Scotty's gonna show you how, with your throw line, you, you, know, you can tell a lot about the lean of the tree and that sort of thing. So go ahead, Scott, take it away. All right, so, yeah, we get a lot of questions asked, you know, if we hunt out of leaning trees. Um, some guys posted some pictures and they were hunting in some pretty severe leaners. Um, and I guess uh, one a really quick way to reference how much like where you're going to end up in that lean because just remember gravity is going to take you where it wants, okay? And you may look at a tree and say, "Oh well, I'm going to throw my crotch there and I'm, and then I'll just you know I'll be on my rope and, and, and you may maybe over here is where you actually want to have be on your platform, okay? But don't forget, you know, the slightest little variation left or right, like I said, gravity's going to take its effect, and this is where you're going to end up, okay? So when you throw ball that tree, let, let that weight hit the ground, let your throw ball hit the ground, and then pull it up. This acts as a plumb bond, okay? This is a, a dead-on, exact uh, plumb line from the crotch to the ground, okay? And this tree doesn't even hardly lean that much, and it's a good probably two and a half to three feet away, all right? So even if you were to be here, okay, and you were on your rope, your body's going to want to come out to here, all right? Because that's where gravity's going to take over, and that's where you, this is where you're going to end up. So I always use this as a reference. Um, I'll, I'll say, well, maybe that, that's a nice tree. I want to be in that tree, okay? So I'll throw my throw line in there, but now... This is where I end up, all right? So it's not gonna be a comfortable sit, especially if you, you wanna remain on this side of the tree, you're gonna be constantly fighting gravity, you know, your whole sit, whatever it is, three, four, five, ten 10 hours, eight hours, you're constantly gonna be fighting that gravity and it's gonna make you miserable, all right? So this is a good, um, like a, just a real quick reference. Once you throw that throw ball, now you know exactly. And, and like I said, this tree doesn't lean that much. I've seen some guys where, you know, they were in leaning trees and they might be seven, eight feet away from, from the base of the tree, all right? And like I said, once gravity takes over and you end up seven, eight feet out away from the trunk of the tree, um, basically you're just coming down because you're not gonna get back to that platform. Um, now, the alternative to that is, is that you could also tether. This is also, this is in reference to if you're gonna stay on your line. This is where it's gonna put you every time. Now you could tether into that tree. Now you're on a short line. So it's gonna, it's gonna really uh, minimize how far out actually um, the gravity's gonna pull you. Um, you can stay right on your platform. Once you're tethered in, you're really not gonna go any further than, than your tether. All right, so this is basically for the guys that want to DRT or SRT. If you want to remain on your rope, just just use that as a reference. Let that let that uh, throw ball hit the ground, pull it up till you, till it stops swinging. That's your plumb line. That's going to tell you where gravity is going to put you. Now, let me ask you something, Scott. So, if you look here, you know, obviously because of like almost like the geometry of, you've got your your throw line up over your limb. And it's pretty close to the trunk of the tree up there, up top. And so, but at the farthest point, it's away from the tree is down here at the base. Right. And as you go up, it starts to get closer and It'll closer get and closer. And closer, and closer. Sure, absolutely. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I mean, take take that all into consideration. Right. If you're going to be up at 15, 20 feet, and you look up and you say, "Well, my that's line is still three, four feet away from the trunk." All right. Right. Yeah, that's where you're going to be. Yeah. That's. Basically, what I'm telling you is this is your this is your reference line. This is your plumb. So this tells you how far you'll be from the trunk of the tree. Right. Exactly. Down here at ground level, it's going to exaggerate. Sure, it's going to be more. Right. Right. But up top, if you can say, all right, well, that that's actually where I want to be, and now you know my line is still this far from the trunk of the tree. That's where you're going to end up. Yep. Unless now you're going to tether in. 
Now, I noticed um, when you walk up to a tree, you'll, but even when you're selecting your tree and yeah. your limbs, you'll sit there at the base of the tree, look up and kind of figure out, you know, you know, throw it this, by throwing this line, you're, you can see what it's gonna do, but I noticed that you will walk up to a tree and you will you know it's gonna do this already. You, right. you kind of know by looking at that lean yeah. and you can kind of try to almost anticipate where that line's gonna be. And maybe, maybe a tree's got too much of a lean, you say, ah, this right. isn't gonna be the best tree to right. throw into. Sure. So. Uh, and another, another scenario to that, or actually a, a, a fix to that, if the tree will allow it, the tree may lean like this, okay? But there may be a limb that's coming off the opposite side of it, okay? And if you hit a crotch here, same thing. You drop that plumb line down, now it drops you straight straight down that tree. Down the axis it, of the tree. Right down the axis of the tree. So that's something might to consider work. as well too. Yep. The tree may lean off at maybe 30 degrees, but then that limb may go off at another 30 yeah. degrees and then that crotch will put you dead center right down that tree. So that's, that's something to consider as well. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, so you, you basically got to look at the geometry of the tree. Right. And yep. No two are alike, man. Yep. That's for sure. Yeah. Now, I, I've noticed that Scott will walk up to a tree, he'll stand at the base, he'll look up, and he can kind of figure. We're, we're showing you, demonstrating here by showing you this plum the plumb bob, but you can kind of anticipate, once you know it's gonna do that, exactly. you can stand at the base of the tree and kind of know my straight line up is gonna be here. You know, if I've got a lean in the tree, you kind of can tell where it's gonna be just before you even throw the line right, up. Right, right, correct. But a lot of guys, I think what some guys might have trouble with is they, they throw their line in, they pull the line up, they're gonna to go to climb. Now the gravity carries them out and they really hadn't thought about that gravity yeah. where it's going to take them before and they climb. Especially climbed. like you say they are like oh I want to be on this side of the tree because I'm expecting the yep. travel to come this way and and I want to shoot my strong side but once they get up there and they like I said they get on that platform they lean they a little bit. That and gravity's gravity taking them the other over, side. Yep. It puts them around you know they do a complete 180 now they're on the other side of the tree so. That's that's one of the reasons one of the one of the big reasons when we do our presets we climb up. Yeah, we first climb time. Up. We go right up in there. Um, you know, sometimes we'll hang a platform. A lot of times there'll be a limb there, and that'll kind of like, you know, we may still put a platform in, but that limb will kind of double as our platform, so that we can say, okay, this will work. How's yeah. that tree gonna feel? Right. Exactly. There's no surprises. Right. Here. Yeah, and it's, it goes more than just just trimming out limbs. You got to get up there, and you don't want no surprises. You, know, yeah. you want to get up there, make sure that everything, start to finish, is gonna work out exactly the way you planned it. Yep. All right, guys, hopefully this uh, tip is helpful. Uh, we're going to keep trying to field questions on the, uh, the Facebook page and, you know, on our channel. We do the best we can to answer the questions, but we've only got so much time, and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to get to them. Sometimes we, it might just be in a text form, but whenever we can do a video, um, yep. I think that's yep. always a little bit better. So, All right, thanks for watching. All right, guys, uh, thanks. Yep, climb safe and best of luck.